So now I don't like this business. I mean, after all, I don't know why she puts in front of my face all the time. What are you beefing about now? Put in front now? of your face once in a while. What's wrong with you? You want all these kids to come in here to think I'm a dope? That's the way they're going out. <laughs> if you're going to ask me any more of those stupid things you ask me, ask me a nice easy one, something I can answer. You can't answer it. Ask me. Will you answer it? All right, say you're 40 years old. Who's 40? Just pretend you're 40 years old. I'm a boy. All right, you're I'm a boy. Say you're 40 years old and you love with a little girl, say, 10 years old. This one's going to be a pit. Now, wait till I finish it, will you please? You've got a good idea where I'm going to wind up. Now, wait a minute. All right, all right, forget about that. You're 40, she's 10, you're four times as old as that little girl. You couldn't marry her, could you? Not unless I came from the mountains. Hey, well, will you keep quiet right there? Finish it. Now, you're 40, she's 10. You're four times as old as that girl. So you wait five years. Now, the little girl is 15, you're 45. Now, you're only three times as old as that little girl. So you wait 15 years more. Now the little girl is 30. You're 60. You're only twice as old as that little girl. Hey, she's catching up. Yeah. How long do you have to wait before you and the little girl are the same age? Now that's simple enough. Tell the folks. Show them how smart you are. I, I, I think the whole thing is ridiculous. What's ridiculous about it? I mean, after all, if I keep waiting for her, she'll wind up older than me. What do you mean? I mean, she'll wind up older than me, and then she'll have to wait for me. Why should she wait for you? I was nice enough to wait for her. What are you talking about? to marry me, she'll wait for me. Marry Yes. Do you know this girl? No. Why should you marry a girl you don't even know? <laughs> what are you walking like that for? I was born on the side of a hill. Oh, gosh. One, two, three, four, five, ten. What kind of car is that? Five, ten. In count? Well, you should never get mad if you can't count to ten. But you never said like ten. Oh, wise guy, huh? Sally. You can count, huh? Are you kidding? Let me hear you count. Two and two is four. Four, four is eight. Eight and eight is. Yeah, yeah, eight and eight is, uh... Oh, what do you think I am, wise guy? Oh, come on. <laughs> Lewis, you're the picture of health. Gee, but you're beautiful. Ah, you like beautiful girls, I gather. I like beautiful girls. Anybody gathers. <laughs> Bonjour to you, Monsieur Abbott. Bonjour to you, Miss Brooks. Ah, vous êtes très gentil, mon cher. Voulez-vous le dîner avec moi ce soir? No, I couldn't. Ah, vous pouvez le venir chez la maison et le dîner avec moi par la lumière des chandelles. Je vous en prie. No, I'm ah. terribly sorry. I couldn't. I have it. What's she saying? Maybe I could. <laughs> Oh, what a shame. Does it hurt very badly? Yeah, I got two days. Well, I'll tell you what you do. I work for the best dentist in town. Here's a card. You come up to the office and I'll see the dentist takes good care of you. Well, let me ask you this, Sylvie. If the dentist pulls my tooth, will it hurt? Oh, well, if it hurts after he pulls it out, you put it back in again. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Let me give it. Come on, come on. Uh, nurse, I just had to bring him in. Oh, I'm glad you took my advice. The doctor will see you in a few minutes. Lewis, your suffering will soon be over. You don't mind if there's a patient before you? I wouldn't mind if there was 340 patients before me. <laughs> you sit down, Doc. Be right with you. Thank you. Oh, hey, Louis, you come with our boss. You got a tooth egg, huh? Hello, Mr. Bachelor. I got a tooth egg, too. That's another thing for worry about. Strong, strong, people. Hey, you're going to see the dentist this morning? Yeah. That's like a picnic in the water, but nothing uh, is strong. You think it's a picnic? Say... I want, uh, mine hurts, and I'm afraid of it to go to the dentist. Uh, it's in our heart. That's in your mind. Uh, yeah, my tooth is in my mouth, Mr. Pachiglou. Yeah, well, I, I take him out of myself, but he's got the license, you know. That's you, Mr. Pachiglou. <laughs> <laughs> you wait, I'll show you, huh? No. <laughs> I come right back to the water. <laughs> Did you hear that? Sit down. Mm -hmm. Don't you worry about a thing. It won't hurt a bit. Now, don't be afraid, Lewis. 
Oh, Hillary, every time you're close to me like this, I always feel safe. Oh, you're so sweet. Oh, Hillary, when you hug me like this, I get a biting sensation in my heart. Do you think it's love? No. It's my pocket comb. It's over there. I'm ready, Miss Brooke. Ready for the next occasion. That's you, Lewis. What happened to Mr. Bachigalou? Oh, he has went. He didn't went this way. No, he went out through the window. <laughs> but this is on the 13th floor. Well, everybody isn't superstitious, my boy. I'll see him later. <laughs> In the office! Come, 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 my boy. Get in the chair, my boy. <laughs> so, so. Ah, it's, it's loose here. Oh, oh, easy, easy. Easy. Huh? Huh? Good, good. Easy, easy now. Oh, that didn't hurt, did it? Good, good. <laughs> my boy. Don't you want gas? No, sir. But you can check my oil. No. Oh, check my oil. My courageous takes a lot. Oh, come, come, come here. Now, now, so. <laughs> now, take it easy. Don't be excited, my boy. You are as safe as a little mother in a baby's arms. Oh, I come over here. Oh, excuse me. Won't you sit down, my boy? Come, come. Let's speak in there. <laughs> so, oh, that's fine. Oh, I'm smiling dry. Apple pie. So, huh? Now, begin. <laughs> May I see what you're doing? Oh, excuse me. What are you covering me up for? Sit down, sit down. Sit down, my boy. Pay attention to me. Don't get excited. Sit down. When I ask you to sit down, you will not for trouble here. Did you sit? Did you kick your heads off the shipping gears? Now put it in neutral and keep it there. Sit down, please. <laughs> Now, pay attention to what I do here. I am a very busy man. I don't got time to make troubles with you here. I got other patients here now. <laughs> Lean back, please. So, <laughs> now open wide the mouth, please. Wider. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was in the wrong time. Can you see what you're doing? I don't get excited. Lean back the head, please. Now, now, let me see. Open the mouth. Open, open. My gracious, you have a protruding tonsil. Catch my nose. Oh, I'm sorry. Now, oh, get back. So, yes, yes. Uh -uh. Is that what hurts? Is that the place? Is that the place? Maybe here, huh? Over there, huh? Maybe it's there. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Knock it out? Sit down, please. Now, don't be excited. Now, open the mouth. Open the mouth, please. Spider. Stick in your tongue, please. Here. <laughs> No. No. Yes. Yes. Now, help me. Lean your head back, so. Now, put your hand on your mouth. Help me. On your chin. Open the mouth, please. Push on the chin, so. Now, help me a little bit. Help me. Hold still now. Now, now. Ha, ha. Oh, no. I Goodness. I 
was wondering why there was a nail in it. Well, don't worry, my boy. I fixed you up in one shape of a cow's foot. Come now, here, so. <laughs> now, here, lean back and right now. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now, this is the line that we shall not get. It's a very rare specimen. And this one. Now, this hyena. Quite interesting. Wait a minute, I've seen lions and tigers' heads before, but I've never seen anything like this. What in the world is that? It's me, you dope! <laughs> Dennis charged me five dollars, and you wouldn't let him pull your tooth. All we got left is 15 cents. What are we going to do? Hey, wait a minute, I've got an idea. And this is a system that always works. I used to use it when I was a kid. You couldn't get Mrs. Brown's cat. Meet me in the back. I'll try the cat's going to pull a tooth. No, no, I'm going down and get Mrs. Burton's dog. The dog's going to pull a tooth? The dog's going to pull your tooth. A barking dentist. What's the difference? You get the cat, I'll get the dog, and meet me in the backyard. But be very careful. Our landlord here, you know, has a peculiar feeling we should pay our back rent. Oh. So don't make no noise when you go inside. Don't forget that now. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. That's better. But well, you gotta be one or the other. Go on. Go ahead. Now, what's the matter with that cat? Sneak it in again, eh? Oh, no, Mr. Fields, I always fall into my room this way. Now, why don't you admit it, that you're just too lazy to get a job and pay your back room rent? Don't you know that laziness is the father of all evil? That's an old adage. Or don't you believe in old adages? Oh, sure I do. I believe in old adages. You don't even know what an adage is? Oh, I do, too. Mr. Fields, if I prove an old adage to you, would you let me go to my room? For what, Prince? If I prove to you that a loaf of bread is the mother to the airplane, would you let me go to my room? Oh, that's ridiculous. You want me to prove it? You can prove that a loaf of bread is the mother of an airplane? I sure. Go ahead, it's a deal. Indubitably. Shoot. Now, a loaf of bread is a necessity, and an airplane is an invention. So? So therefore, a loaf of bread or a necessity is the mother of invention. Necessity is the mother of invention. That's right. Isn't it? <laughs> That's right. Now we're all set. Cat's in the trap. Uh, there's one end tied to the dog's collar. The other end tied tight to your tooth. I'll tell you what we'll do. We play. You like to play uh, airplanes, don't you? Well, we'll play airplanes. Now, uh, when you holler, Roger, I'll pull this cord, open the trap, the cat will go out, the dog will go after the cat, your tooth will go after the dog. And where I go? Oh, you're, you'll be around here someplace, less of two. Now, so wait a minute, now. Hold it now. Are you ready? Go ahead. Say it. Henry. Not Henry. you got to say Roger. I'm afraid to say Roger. That's it. <laughs> Dog ain't no dentist. <laughs> How's it feel? It hurts again? Hurts again. Oh, it's murder, this foot. Oh, I wish my cousin was here. Your cousin? Yeah, he was a good dentist. A DD? Oh, he was a DD, a good one too. Oh, the only thing is, he had to quit the whole. He had to hold, quit the whole business. He had to quit it. Yeah, his name looked so silly on the door. What was his name? Tweedle, DD. Tweedle. <laughs> yes, I'd, I'd like to get some toothache drops. Toothache drops? Oh yes. Oh no, they're below. I used to work here. Oh yes, here you are. How much are they? Fifteen cents. Yes, ma'am. Fifteen cents. Yes. Oh, excuse me, I forgot. I thought I was behind the counter. <laughs> Some powerful stuff, man. Mr. Abbott, I don't understand how you can run around with a nincompoop like Lou Costello. I wouldn't dream of inflicting him on anybody else. I ought... Oh, my God, here he comes. Uh -huh. Well, my boy, did you get the toothache drops like I told you to? Uh -huh. Good, now take a few drops, put it on your finger, stick your finger in your mouth, and rub it on the bad tooth. I can't do that. Why not? I drank it. Yeah. 
Another 15 cents shot. You're going to make a nervous wreck out of me. That was good. All you do is cause me trouble, 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 trouble. Just a minute, Mr. Rabbit. It's very possible that you're a bad influence on this boy. Now, this happens to be no business of yours. Oh, you may not know this, Mr. Rabbit, but a lot of people in this neighborhood resent your derogatory and insulting treatment of this boy here. See, Rabbit, I got friends. I should say you have. Just because Lou Costello happens to be a poor, unsophisticated, illiterate bore with the intelligence quotient of a delinquent midget, Mr. Rabbit. That's telling, Mr. Fields. <laughs> and furthermore, Mr. Rabbit, is it compensatory for you to abuse this poor, unsophisticated, incompetent mental moron just because he hasn't got the common sense of a half-baked imbecile? Look here. Now, just a minute, Abbott. Now, you had this coming to you for a long time. <laughs> Yes, sir. And another thing, Mr. Rabbit, I want you to notice this boy. Notice his blank expressionless countenance, the receding forehead, the peculiar angle at which the ears leave the face, the thickness of his skull, the antediluvian physiognomy of this boy, the close resemblance to the early form of gargantuan ape. <laughs> Can you possibly blame this boy for being a slovenly, unkempt, grubby-looking crumb? How do you like those potatoes? Try <laughs> and get out of that one. Huh. Now, Mr. Rabbit, I know what you're thinking. Don't quibble. You must admit that you've seen you've seen much more intelligent-looking specimens than Luke Costello in cages. I can't say that. Oh, you can say it if you want to. You just don't want to remember, Rabbit. That's the boy. Of course. That's how everybody in the neighborhood feels about Luke Costello. Uh, come on. Okay. Uh, Mr. Fields, will you do me a favor? Of course. What is it? The next time that you say a lot of nice things about me and you build me up, will you throw in a couple of knocks? I don't want everybody to think I'm too perfect. <laughs> I'll be glad to. Well, my boy, uh, is your toothache better? Yeah, I didn't even give it a thought. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, now. Hello. Hi, bud. What's the matter with you? I don't know. I'm even passing you up. This tooth is killing me. Oh, is that acting up again? Yeah. I've got an idea. Oh, no. The last idea you had, I went to jail. That's just it. Going to jail? Certainly. And they won't take me in jail. I'm just a stoop. Wait a minute. If you go to jail, they feed you for free, they clothe you for free, and they pull that tooth for free. They got a dentist in the jail? Certainly. All jails have dentists. Yeah. Now, wait a minute. We've got to get you in jail. How are you going to do that? Now, that's simple. That's easy enough. We can get it. Hey, there it is. You see that kid down there with the balloon? Have you got a pin? Go break that kid's balloon. Jail, here I come. Go ahead. <laughs> Why, you big goop! Why don't you pick on somebody your own size? He got my balloon! Oh, he did, eh? I'll get you a new balloon, kid. Don't worry about money. Get buy a new balloon. Certainly. Can I change? He's going to buy a new balloon. He's going to change. Just call it the host puts his hand in the car. Comes out with nothing. Uh, there you are, kid. I'm supposed to go to jail, huh? Oh. This, is no, this is no time to dance. We better get you to jail. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, you see that guy coming out of the restroom with the overcoat? Go down and steal that overcoat. How much is this going to cost me? Go steal that overcoat. That'll put you in jail. Give me that coat. Oh, I'm sorry, mister. I didn't know it was your coat. I saw it in the restroom stand and so I took it. I leave the bundle. Please don't tell me. Don't call the cops. Oh, you're going to call the cops, huh? You snitch. <laughs> Who's out? Wait a minute. Wait, don't get discouraged, kid. I've got it. I've got a great idea this time. The first good-looking girl that comes along in Southern, you're bound to go to jail. Yeah. Here right, comes one now. Hiya, sis. You don't talk to public square. What's the idea of shouting my name out on a public street? Suppose some copper would have heard you. I'm on a lamb. I'm hot. Do you understand? Get wise to yourself, chum. You never seen me. You never set eyes on me. And if I ever hear of you squealing, I don't know what to do with you. <laughs> He's one of the boys. One of the... Abbott, wait a minute. I'm getting my brains knocked out. Don't get in jail. Don't get excited. I'm not getting excited. There's the best one of them all. You see that fire alarm box over there? Go over and send a false alarm in. At least the fire box. That, that, that can't hit me back. Then you're bound to go to jail. Go ahead over it. Bring it in. Go ahead. Go ahead. Can you make it? Better boy. Put it again. 
possibly do for you? Yeah, will you please take me to jail? Oh, what a sense <laughs> of humor. <laughs> I uh, did forget my cousin in Australia. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, I never run out of ideas. Hey, you got a piece of cord on you? Yeah, I got the cord I had in the yard today. That's the piece. Get it out. Yeah. Uh, boy, oh boy. Eva. Now put that piece in your mouth, around the tooth, the one that hurts you now. Tie it tight. Now we'll put the other end here on the on the rear of the car, and when it starts out, there goes the tooth. Come on. Come on. Here it is. That's a boy. Get your back on you had a little time. Now just sit down there on the curb and relax. Go ahead. Everything's gonna be all right now. You all right? Mm. You got a good and tight? I think this is gonna get out. That's a boy. There you are. citizens of this town, I want to thank you. Thanks, God. I want to thank you, too. Thank you. $5,000 reward. Congratulations. Don't forget I'm your partner. 50-50. I'm going to do better than that, but I'm going to give you a couple of dollars in cash. Now, never mind that. I'll... And another thing. What? You know why I'm happy? Why? Look, my tooth is out. But that wasn't a tooth that ate you. It was on this side. It's a man. 